is the first morning we're getting out. There's my boat clear over there on the second dock. It's got a full house here, so let's go out and catch some big perch today. Well, it doesn't take Vicky very long to get in the action. Right off the bat, she catches a 11 inch perch. She gets him uh, for the camera here, finally. I have to convince her she needs to have me take a picture of him. She throws him in the box. Took her about two more minutes and she got this one, a nice 10 inch perch. She seems to be getting giddy. And in the box it goes. Ooh, man, we're starting out good. Well, it's my turn to catch a fish and uh, this one's going to be a little bit of a surprise since we're out on the perch grounds. And what does it happen to be? Keep an eye out for this one. It's a small walleye actually. This one's about, uh, I think he's close to 18 inches, 16 inches, somewhere in there. And uh, for this lake, uh, it's a nice little eater happy with that and uh, we'll be cooking that one up for lunch unfortunately it was too windy this morning and we couldn't get uh, any of this uh, audio on on the video Vicky didn't take long to catch up with me there she goes showing off again Nice 11 inch perch. Get in the box, Vicky. Oh, nice for the camera. Oh wow, here's another fish. This little guy didn't have half a chance against master angler David Brian Reek. A little uh, northern pike. We catch quite a few of them uh, when we're out jigging for the perch. We just turn them all loose unless they're of pretty good size. Every once in a while we'll even catch a big muskie on them and uh, we usually don't get those into the boat.
Someone put some nice comments about my squirrels uh, in, in Alaska. Actually, they didn't, but get them big black squirrels up here. There he goes. We kept 27 the first day, and on Monday it was just raining too bad, so we went out shopping. But today is going to be a beautiful day on the lake. Yesterday I had to change the solenoid on the, the old boat. I got stranded out on the lake Tuesday night, so it was not good. Monday night. It was actually Monday night I got stranded out on the lake, had to be towed in by a couple boat but uh, we're ready to go out and get them today it's a beautiful day let's go catch some fish here's our cabin we're staying at it's uh, called fawn it's the first time we've stayed in this cabin this whole resort's real nice Oak Point Resort on Leech Lake getting close to our limit here and uh, Vicky kicks it off with a nice fish right off the bat looks like about a close to a 12 inch fish it's one of our bigger ones had a little cut on the side but we were glad to catch it uh, this third week of September is just beautiful up here in uh, Leech Lake you get weather that could be anywhere from 60 to 75 degrees almost every day it's a little windy uh, you know, that's that's the noise in the on the audio there I am practicing that catch and release skills this spot we're fishing in we've been going to for about 20 years and we've been getting our limits every year it's probably about a half a mile east of the Walker Narrows and uh, you'll see the water towers off to our left right here and uh, what we do is we're lining up uh, like the water tower area which is right in the middle of the screen right now we try to line that up with uh, Oak Point and we just drift with the wind and we catch uh, a lot of perch in this area there's Oak Point there so uh, you'll see us out here in September catching a lot of fish Yeah, we both started doing really well here in this water uh, was getting a lot clearer so uh, you could see the fish coming in and you could see the fish down below us you almost could put the bait right in their mouth and watch them take it 
Uh, this is probably about 11 inch. Uh, these, are, these are the typical fish we're catching all the time. And uh, we get to take home about 80 of these. <laughs> Turn the camera on, no bites. Jeez. Here goes Vicky. Watch this cast. Nice catch. Get them. Off that sweet cast, you got the big one. All right, look at that one. Man, oh man, Vicky's on, on a roll. I'll try to slam that thing in there like you don't know what you're doing. See what you get. Can you do it again? Huh? Come on, do it again. Slammer on in here. Let's see what you're using for bait. Can you bring that over here? This is Dave's hot lure. I gave Vicky my last lure. Do it, Vic. Not even getting much bites on this side of the boat. New. It's all there for you. Live that charmed life, I guess. There's somebody's buoy. One year we tied up about four or five balloons that looked like a circus out here. And, uh, as soon as we tied them up, uh, people from all around were going to them. So the next day we tied one up like 100 yards away from where we were catching the fish. And they, they started going there and we just ignored them. We caught our fish. This was a real nice 12 inch fish. That's probably about the biggest one we got. Uh, maybe we had a couple more like that one. Uh, some years we've got them as big as 14 inches. They're coming to get you, Barbara. and hang with us. This is about uh, day five of our trip. Vicki and I decided to do a little pike fishing and as usual uh, it didn't take a lot of effort to catch a few pike. We didn't spend a lot of time doing it but uh, here's one that uh, I caught. It's not the biggest one in the world but uh, they sure give a lot of uh, action on the rod. Feet hold still, I do a little measurement, see how long it is. Twenty six inches. Small one, but uh, really a nice fish.
bird lady. It's coming. I can feel it. Ah, it's tricky me. Well, he took it down hard, didn't he? Then he yeah. let go. Too small. Come on, fish. Do it for my friends. That one's close, but uh, I think he's still a little short. It's a bite in here, I think. Gotta get that big one. back. Here's the 10 inch mark from here to here. Uh, what do you call that? Nine and three quarters? Yeah. Should we throw him back? Yeah. Back he goes. So I want to talk a little bit about the tackle we were using. Uh, these little uh, grubs uh, on the top center right there, the white with the yellow fringes on it was the best lure we were using. This pink one did really well. But uh, typically we use minnows. Uh, big minnows get taken off too easily. Vicky's showing you the best lure we were using. Uh, all yellow. And this was the last one. But usually we use uh, half minnows to catch them. So uh, the little ones can't strip them off as easy. We catch them off small ones. So. Here, I'm just sharing my techniques of how to catch them. We've got uh, the last day of fishing today. Uh, only a couple more and we'll be done. Did really well. I think we had 78 in at the time. So as soon as we hit 80, we have to quit fishing for perch. And uh, we'll probably go after walleyes for walleyes or uh, northerns for a little while for the rest of the day. Here, I'm trying to call the fish in. And uh, looks like I got one. It's a small one. Eighteenth trip in 21 years, and uh, can't beat the sunset on this lake. It's nice when you have a nice day like today for the last day. We're taking home our 80 perch, ranging from about nine and a half to 12 inches long. A lot of them were in the 10 inch range. Really good perch fishing trip. Water's down about two feet this year, 
so the docks were a little hard to get off and on. Oak Point Resort in Walker, Minnesota on Leech Lake. You can get a hold of Matt or Kim. I'll put the telephone and the information for the place uh, in the description if you're interested in coming up here. We come up here the third week of September. Next year it'll be the 17th. And uh, it's always a great trip. Oh, they are puff balls. Now well, there's something else. Is that that just Don't you know that I'm nothing without you? I'm just suffering for you now. Oh, do you know what it feels like? Oh, in your arms. Do you know what it feels like?